Howdy doody. Welcome to episode 216 of TDI. This is Dr. O on the horn to start per usual. And as always, I'm joined by my co-host, my best friend, and Guardians of the Galaxy aficionado, Ricky Flix. I see him in the group document already starting controversy. We got an exciting throwback review today. One of the most beloved movies in the history of the MCU. One that I would argue is on the Mount Rushmore of most important MCU releases. Ricky Flex, how pumped are you to talk about James Gunn's first installment in the MCU? Dr. O, it's great talking to you once again. And talking about such an iconic movie, iconic movie. Yes, you are right. This is on the Mount Rushmore of most important MCU movies, but you could argue it's on the Mount Rushmore of most important movies in the 21st century. Yes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yes. That's you crazy. can say that. Um, I don't know if I would, but I can understand an argument for it. So this is more like we don't do a lot of throwback reviews. This one makes sense. This is well deserved. And you're getting ready for volume three. No other way than just to go back to go back to what oh well and just talk about guardians and this is definitely one of the most rewatchable movies i think in the mcu's lore i it's always on fx i always put it on disney plus it's one of my recommended i, I could have like just watched it and i'll say like recommended guardians of the galaxy i'm like i watched this like literally two hours ago but you're throwing it back at me and i'm not gonna say no necessarily to watching it but looking back this time I really focused on it like from a critical lens. A lot of times it's a great like throw it on in the background, great soundtrack. And if you want to like pop in and out of scenes, there are so many rewatchable moments of this movie that um, it just you could have it on at any point. And it's a comfort movie for me. But to have this sort of lens, I noticed some things that made me just adore the movie even more. And we talked we just talked about Ricky Flex. Like I, I argued it was the Mount Rushmore of MCU movies. You're saying it's one of the most important movies of the 21st century. I think you're nuts for saying that. I think that's a little over the line. I understand the argument for it. I'm not saying I would personally do it, but... So, Ricky Flex, let me just hit you with what I think is the Mount Rushmore of most important MCU movies. And then I want you to reflect and then make any uh, revisions if you feel like they're necessary. So, here they go. One, Iron Man, 2008. Directed by John Favreau, starring Robert Downey Jr., kicks off the universe. All right, a character to build around for the next twelve years. Second most important movie, Marvel's The Avengers. All right, brings together this group of heroes for the first time. Really shows right this actual cinematic universe in action. These characters with solo projects coming together, introducing new ones, and it works so effectively. Destroys at the box office. It was never the same after Avengers. Three. I'm going to have Infinity War, I think is one of the most important. It literally is, they make jokes about it, how it was the most ambitious crossover movie that we've ever seen, right, on the big screen. And they pulled it off and we had a villain as pretty much the main character of an MCU movie, right? It was a perfect strategy to bring together like the, the, the 15 to 16 different movies to culminate three um, phases of the MCU and then my fourth, right, in the Mount Rushmore is Guardians of the Galaxy, what it meant to the MCU, the idea of uh, giving a project to a group of long shots, no-name characters, right, and have it destroy at the box office. Volume 2, right, does even better, and then it leads to Volume 3 and one of the most anticipated Marvel movies in quite some time, at least since Spider-Man No Way Home. So, Ricky Flex, what do you think about that Mount Rushmore? Do you think we're missing any movies from that list? So I'm a Infinity War stan. I think that's that's my favorite Marvel movie. But to say like, importance is tough. Okay, Endgame was so important to just the culture, pop culture. I agree. And I I think that trumps it for importance. I'm not saying it's a better movie. You know, I don't think Guardians is the best movie. It's not even uh, on our God level in our MCU tiers. Will it change after today's episode? I don't know. But I think I would lean Endgame as more important than Infinity War. Oh, oh, wow. I don't think that. I think the success at the box office 
right? Obviously, highest grossing movie of all time of all time for a little bit at least until James Cameron had to be an a hole on us. Um, like it just it was it resulted in that because of Infinity War's success and because of what it established, and it was the first time, and it, it included way more storylines that had to be intertwined for Infinity War and so many more characters that got prominent screen time, the way you had to balance all those characters. Endgame was like going back to Marvel's The Avengers and the characters we cared about from the get-go. I get it. It's important. It's like the the culmination, right, going exactly. beyond Infinity War. But at the same time, like a lot of the, it's, I think Infinity War was actually a tougher movie to make than Endgame because you had more Don't characters disagree. to balance and deal with and to have Thanos in a more prominent role right? Someone that we had been teasing for three phases of the MCU. I just think it means more. And I think like, obviously fan moments, you would go to end game. It's probably number one, most important if you're looking at it from mm -hmm. that lens, but in terms of most important, what it did right for the Marvel cinematic universe, end game was kind of a continuation of the success of infinity war. You know what I mean? But it also wrapped it up. And I, I think like, I don't disagree with anything you said, except I just, I, like, I think it's a very important, Clearly, I just think it's more important what Endgame was to pop culture, the culmination of the Infinity Saga, to all these core Avengers, for the most part. I think that's more important. And yeah. that's why I lean, I said lean, lean Endgame. It's not like clear, but I would lean Endgame. Yeah, no, I don't blame you. I feel like I am the actual Ricky Hot Takes in this situation.